This is a real banger, guys. This is a great, great tricep movement. I don't need to load up a crap ton of weight on a bar and you know, worry about my shoulders while I'm trying to train my triceps or anything like that. Just make a nice hook, get that elbow in position, press through it, and squeeze. Oh my God! What's up, heavy duty crew? All right, it is Monday, September 16th. It is the official tomorrow will be the first day of prep for NPC Nationals in Irving, Texas, where we're going to shoot for our pro car. Been looking at my training and had some thoughts today. I'm going to be changing things up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is instead of having the three day split, which means, you know, I have three different training sessions over a course of, uh, you know, 12 to 14 days. I'm gonna break it into four workouts. So we're gonna have an extra workout. And that workout is gonna be arms specifically. Arms is gonna have its own day. Back is gonna have its own day. Chest and shoulders on one day, legs on another. And I'm gonna play with adding an extra set or so for certain body parts on these different days. So what we're doing kind of is we're going back to the old school frequency of the rotation. So I used to train once every five days. The entirety of the body would get trained like every 16 days. So now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna train every third day or fourth with four sessions. So we're looking at 12 to 16 days where a body part repeats. So we're going back to that old frequency, but the idea is, is to have a little bit less fatigue built up per workout, and I'll be able to give the body parts a little more attention, you know, so I think that's really gonna help out with the arms. We're gonna throw a set of shoulders in on arm day. Our chest and shoulder day is great. I don't you know, need to do a lot extra there, but I really wanna do more on my back days. Uh, so we're gonna see how we can fit that in. The uh, doses are about to go up and the food's gonna go up way higher. So we're gonna grow into it. The next four weeks are gonna be a really hard push but not toward a cut. Of course, we're gonna lean out because we're gonna be adding cardio in, the metabolism is gonna pick out, the pick up, the anabolics are gonna be up, so we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna work you through today's workout. It's gonna be arms today. We've got some ideas already. Machine preacher curl, cable rope hammers, um, seated tricep push down, and then probably a standard push down for the outside head and the tricep push down, or rather the dip push down for the long head of the triceps. So I'm gonna work the entirety of the bicep, work the brachialis, work the long head, work the short head, and work the medial heads of the delts today. All right, well, I've been warming up before I got on camera, so we're just gonna walk over and get into our first set. See you there. All right, so I did what I said I was gonna do. Isolateral preacher curl with the machine. Extra stable, extra potent, extra stimulating. Um, we're gonna go for a PR. Max ever going this machine was 50 pounds for an arm, so we're at, oh, we're actually at 60 right here. So let's see if we can crank it out. Um, one thing you guys need to keep in mind when playing on these Smith machines, I'm sorry. <laughs> Preacher curls, you know, do not go full extension on the arm or you will tear a bicep tendon. Most people are chronically overtrained anyway. They put themselves in a compromised position like that and it's game over. I have had clients tear their biceps doing this. I've known tons of different people tear their biceps doing this. So you gotta be careful. Don't go too deep. See if I can take my own advice. All right, so not only failure in the concentric portion, but failure to be able to maintain it, control of it on the negative. And there is nothing wrong with finishing a rep off and with an isolateral movement by incorporating the other hand. So that was a set beyond failure and failure on the negative. I could not control it on the way down. So that's a huge win. We're gonna take a little breather. Now I can turn the video off and then we're gonna switch to the dominant arm. So this is how you allow weak body parts to catch up. You train them first, Train the other arm with a little bit of fatigue, you know, because you've accumulated through the first set and it helps things balance out. You know, this is stuff that I'm gonna be really implementing as we move closer and closer towards the, uh, the national stage. I've gotta make even better improvements. I gotta bring my best ever because I'll be damned if I place mid in the pack. It's not happening.
That's as dangerous as it gets right there. Not a question in my mind, we got it. I mean, my arms are in gorge. I'm pumped, hit a nice PR. Eight reps per arm, that's fucking fantastic. All right, we'll move to the next try, the next bicep movement. We keep on trucking. All right, so we trained the majority of the bicep. We're gonna give one more set for the brachialis for the forearm brack. Makes that arm bigger and thicker. Better looking from the, in the side shots, the most muscular. Hell, that looks good anytime you look at it from the outside, so. Gonna be doing that. Arms are gassed already from that uh, max effort set. It's 30 pounds, maybe a little much. I'm actually gonna just drop it. I'm gonna go ahead and work the weak side first as we do it. Remember, what's key is that we drag it across the chest, right? Coming straight out here is not gonna put here as much tension as here will. I can put my arm out, flex my bicep, but as I turn it in, that brachialis sticks out harder, so. Psst, let's talk. <clears throat> Force rep. Ah. One more force. Nope. I'm not gonna force it. That was good enough. Instant, instantaneous, guys. Outside to inside. The biceps are done. All it took was two sets. That's all you gotta give it. You need to just be willing to work really fucking hard. And I mean, with as much effort as possible, not endurance. all it takes two easy sets all right so a movement that i've become increasingly more and more fond of is these um dip machines they uh, they're a multi-purpose tool all right i'm going to show you how to use them for different things today we're going to be training triceps with them so i'll just go ahead and walk you through it for the top set so the proper tracking that you want to train triceps with these and this movement is going to smash the long head the long head is hard to get at most of your pressing movements are not going to train the long head of the tricep you need your elbow to track back and become and come behind your torso to really get that, that tricep engaged. Also, tucking the elbows in is gonna incorporate the triceps, all right? If I let my elbows flare out to the side and I press, that's all chest, okay? And you've seen me use this machine for chest, and when I do, I press in that same way. But if I track my elbows behind me, keep them tight to my body as I can, pressed against my lats, driving through there is all the long head of that tricep. And for those of you who don't know, the long head is the inside. That's what gives your arm girth, okay? On the back there, it's very important. Now, I don't see that this machine has a seat belt, which is ideal when you really start uh, getting up in the weight on these things. But I'm gonna go ahead and just try to match my body weight. Now I'll go 190 and I'll add 
10 pounds, so about 200 pounds. But yeah, this has increasingly become one of my favorite movements for triceps. You guys seen me do the arsenal dip at the muscle. I love it. I really like this machine too. The way it's set up, I mean, you can just smash your back into the pad and you're completely stable. I'm driving through my feet into the floor, pushing my hips back, and it just creates a great basis to push from. So, track the elbows to the sides, push and drive. Track them back. There's the mechanical tension. It's starting to slow down. And that's failure. I wanted to quit three reps ago. And that just goes to show guys, when, when you think you're done, you've got more. Pain is not the deciding factor. Sensation is not the deciding factor. It's when the implement stops moving. And yeah, my tricep on the inside feels numb. So I'm gonna give myself a little break and we're gonna go do a standard push down variation where the elbows stay in line with the torso or sit in front. And that's gonna work more so toward the front, but I do believe that that's a, an all time PR as they always are, you know? That's how you know the system's working. Really liking this workout so far. I get to put a lot of intention into each one of these sets and I like it this way that they're more confined to an area. Training arms today. When I come train back, I'll have three movements instead of the two. And I won't be so fatigued when I'm going to train other things. It's all about finding balance. It's all about uh, finding out what works. I get these ideas and I put them to the test. We analyze the results and see how it goes. But we've had a pretty good success rate so far. Everything that I've decided to implement has uh, yielded me great benefits. You know, the improvements I'm always making. And take a breather and get back to it. All right, crew. We're going to move on to our second tricep exercise. And this is just going to be a single arm cable push down rather than using a rope attachment or just grabbing the cable you know that requires you to hold on you have to grip that you have to squeeze that if the, the grip is going to fail before the triceps do and it always gives me trouble when i try to go without an attachment or use a rope also too when you're straightening up you can't keep holding it this way the wrist is going to have to turn and it's going to get compromised but a simple handle like this you can create more stability with it tuck the wrist down and it's not near as much of a problem your hand's going to naturally want to tighten and grip on the handle as it gets toward the bottom so again as i was talking about before in the last exercise i was training the long head of the tricep this is going to work more of the outside head and how do i know well number one i feel it 100 percent feel the tension building up there and if you can feel the uh, part of the body that you're trying to work it's a really good indicator that it's working now i don't judge stimulus as a means of whether i succeeded or not in the gym it's all effort it's all progressive overload but this is a nice little anecdotal uh, confirmation here so you want to go up and wait gonna do 30 per arm okay good and heavy notice the elbows staying in front of the torso here i'm gonna push down i'm gonna squeeze where do i feel it here and here <sighs> Oh, this is a real banger, guys. This is a great, great tricep movement. So simple. I don't need to load up a crap ton of weight on a bar and worry about pressing it. 
you know, worry about my shoulders while I'm trying to train my triceps or anything like that. Just make a nice hook, get that elbow in position, press through it, and squeeze. I mean, it stings. That's how intense that is. So I had said we were gonna add in a little bit of extra, a little bit something, and I'm gonna do a set of machine lateral raises, unilateral once again. Gonna work my weak side first. Yeah, <laughs> here it is, an extra set of shoulders. I feel like I can fit an extra set in on a opposite training day and have three 72 hours come back and train uh, chest and shoulders, and I don't think they'll be impeded from that. Again, we're pushing the envelope here. We're trying to figure out what we can fit in within reason, right? See if I'm able to recover from it. See if I'm able to progress this set on this day as well as my shoulder training on its own day. We're experimenting, that's what we do. Some might say it's a bad time to choose to do so, you know, being how natural prep is coming, but like I explained earlier, you know, my food is gonna go way up over the next four weeks. And, uh, and of course, you know, the use of anabolics as well. The tools will be available and the system will be, will have an update for its operating system. It's gonna be a little bit faster. So we're gonna see what we can tolerate. Let's see if I can do this with balance here. 35 pounds on the side. Oh, we don't wanna to go too high because we lose tension on this machine. And I don't wanna go all the way down because I'll lose tension. Uh. A little rest pause here. Nope, we can't get another rep. True failure achieved. Now, where did I feel that? Right where I wanted to, you know, the part of my shoulder that sticks out the furthest. That's where I'm feeling it, right in there. Well, I don't feel it on that other one, but this one, it's hard as a rock. Slapping that, I just slapped sweat everywhere. It went in my face. I like this session, I like this session a lot. So again, we don't take the full three minutes. We're trying to balance out. So we're just gonna move right into this one, okay? Oh. 
pause. Two, three, four, five, six. Absolutely. Oh, engorged. So I would say that this was a uh, productive day in the gym. About a 40 minute workout. Taking some rest in between some sets, but a lot of that was warming up, setting up in the beginning, but uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I could feel that I was definitely able to, I don't know, just have more drive in my sets for arms. On back and arms day, it's like a, it's a power struggle. Something suffers toward the end of the workout, but with this one here, nothing suffered at the end of the workout. Everything was able to be trained, you know, 100% effort. So I'm liking the idea of this. We're gonna keep hitting it. Fortunately, I can't disrobe in this gym and pose for you guys, so I just have to keep up with my physique on the Instagram. Well, heavy duty crew, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the session. Feel free to try it. You got any tips or ideas for me? Shoot them my way. Until next time. <laughs>